Hello, my friends. Right now, Bill Blankenship is having dinner with his future. The recruits are on campus this week. And also, just a few hours ago, we found out that Bill Blankenship was the new coach. As the new head coach of his Golden Hurricane, I say his because he played here in the mid-'70s out of Spiral High School. Then it was nine years head coach at Union High School, part of the Union Jenks rivalry that for many days a year had this town on an all-time high. After he interviewed for the head, TU head coaching position Wednesday night of this week, the TU folks were impressed. Obviously, for Bill Blankenship, it was like hitting a grand slam home run to win the game in the bottom of the ninth. And uh, I was determined. I've used this analogy a few times. I was a, determined that if I got an opportunity to get in the batter's box, I wasn't going to watch the pitch go by. I was going to swing for the fence. And uh, we swung for the fence. I felt like it went good. And as I think I told Angie that we've seen enough baseball that we know that uh, people can dive over the wall and, and snatch that thing. And so uh, we certainly know that it wasn't up to me, but I thought that I'd done well enough to be considered. Does this mean baseball's coming back? To <laughs> yeah, at least baseball analogies will stay out. We'll talk about the Yankees if you want to. This is the first time since Dave Rader, T.U., has hired one of its own. Blankenship talked about conti uh, continuity and taking a good 10-win season, ranked 24th in the nation, to higher levels. He knows how to build an organization and move it from good to great. Bill Blankenship has the fundamental core values and principles to lead this team as he has done it his entire life. Todd Graham has taken this program to a new level with his leadership and with the staff and especially with the players that came into this program. We're going to take it to another level. That's the only option that I see is to take something that's good and go to great. Now, obviously, any head coach needs his players, and it seemed like, Jack, at the press conference today, at least, the players were rallying around their, one of their assistant coaches. Well, TU won 10 games this year. They won at Notre Dame. They won the Hawaii Bowl. The players had the attitude of, really, what more could we have done to keep a coach and a coaching staff? They had some tender feelings, but hiring Bill Blankenship made it all better. I believe it was more confusion. We didn't really understand why. We didn't understand what was going on. Because, like, like everyone was saying, we came off ten win, ten win season, uh, bowl victory, and now the coaches are all leaving. So that's never happened. I mean, to, to me personally, I've never had a coach leave. So this whole this whole new experience. But we couldn't be more thrilled about Coach Blankenship being here. It was definitely a, kind of a sigh of relief today. You know, we uh, we were all kind of sitting around the last couple of days. You know, wondering who's going to come in here and things are going to change and all that kind of stuff. You know. But now that Coach Blank's here, you know, it's, it's kind of a good feeling. You know, he knows us. We know him. Coach Blank should talk to us saying, you know, he's going to be our next head coach. And, you know, he's just, I feel like he's a guy who just takes in the next step and just leads in the right direction. All right. Now, uh, Todd Graham left on Monday, Shaq. And I know the players, there was a little, uh, you know, an anxiety level there. But hiring a coach this Friday was big time important for the players, too. And it was evident. We've covered a lot of these here at TU, football and basketball. Never have we seen that many people at a coach's press conference to announce being a new head coach. All right. We have more for you tonight at 10. I want to remind you there are other things going on around town this weekend.